Hello, I am Darius100, and I will give a quick look at Terraria Underworld. Not the best place you'll ever want to go. Oh look, there's already a lava slime. Yes, ignore the lag a bit, it's perhaps being a bit useless. Yes, one thing you'll need is one of these, an obsidian skin potion, so you don't die in lava horribly. So you have four minutes to be able to mine the nice ore, although you do still die of lack of oxygen. It's kind of unhelpful. Yes, the forges you can see to the left are used to craft uh, Miss Hellstone into things like um, armor and weapons. And there's a fire imp trying to kill me on Hell Volley. Go kill him. Yes, the fire is probably the most annoying of all the enemies here. The rest of them are dealable, if you know they're coming. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. There's uh, demons, lava slime, hellbats, and the fire imps, and something called a bone serpent, which you don't really want to see, it's quite big. Which is probably an innuendo. <laughs> there somewhere. But you know, we'll try to avoid that for the moment. But yes, you definitely need one of these obsidian skin potions. Because they help so much, because you don't die from lava then. And if you hadn't noticed, most of this is lava. But yes, you get ash blocks and the hellstone. Hellstone turns into lava when you mine it, and you also need an obsidian skull, or else you burn from it from standing near it. And ooh, frame rate just completely tanked then and now it's gone back up to full. And then it's dropped again. Oh wow. I'm gonna blame you. It's a bit demon. It's your little lightsaber. Yeah, there's all these buildings as well made out of hellstone bricks, which do look quite cool, but they just generally look like bricks. There's not really much to them. Much prefer some of the dungeon bricks. Some of those look really good. Fortunately on this world, I have world even. Not world. Yeah. I can't speak properly if I hadn't guessed. That's not because I'm British. <laughs> Before anyone makes that comment, because I know someone will somewhere. Damn me needing breath in lava. It's not like it's liquid or anything. They don't seem bothered with me, the fact that I'm under the lava. They're like, oh, we'll wait for him to come back up. When he's vulnerable to us then. But you can you can pick up the demon forges and take them back up to the surface, which I do recommend because it's incredibly helpful. I'm gonna see if I can get over here. Oh, there's a demon crate.
No, oh, God, I mean, all the money just ended up in the lava. Great. See if we can't find any more potions other than the healing ones. Ooh. So even though I know that I'm immune to lava, it's still freaking scary to jump over. <laughs> Let's have a look, is there anything in here? No, there's loads of forges. You do get special types of chest, which you need a key to open. The key can be found in the dungeon area. It's quite a good idea to go there first, which I really should have done a bit more in detail. But I felt like tearing up a bit quicker. As the Hellstone armor is the best stuff you can get. And as you can see, you have to get pretty much 3,000 feet below the surface to even get to this layer. But that is because I'm on a large world. I think on smaller worlds, it's generally quicker. Nope, hellfire arrows. As far as most of these things drop, it's not really the best. There is a voodoo demon which does drop a guide. Well, I've only seen it drop a guide doll. But you can equip that and you can basically beat on the guide. That's quite funny, to be honest. <laughs> Other than that, there isn't really much you get from them. I try and explore as far as possible. Oh, there's a crystal heart there, even though I don't need it. Gives me a chance to use my lovely hammocks. I would like to try and show you a shadow chest, but apparently it doesn't want to put one in the game for me at the moment. And there's a demon trying to kill me, great. Well, I have 20-ish seconds left on this, I'm going to make use of it. But, and this guy does fell to his death, great. Where... go? Oh. I don't want to get back out of here, am I? Oh great, I got set on fire from a fire ring. So that makes tons of sense. Well, we're going to use these last 11 seconds usefully. Get out of the lava. Perfect. Just drop the fire imp into the lava. I think I did. Oh, I can still get him. This lovely vile fawn. Back to mining, I think. Oh, he survived. Unideal. Oh, it's a new one. No, he died quite happily. That was kind of close. So you know, once you get used to surviving lava, you kind of think you can. <laughs> but yeah, I can't seem to find much more of interest. So I'll probably end up ending it here. There's a fire ramp. Let's see if we can't find something a bit more interesting first. It would appear not. No, don't fall in the lava, don't fall in the lava. Let's see if there's anything down here. Ah, bad.
Oh, and I'm being swamped by these. Great. Like another crystal heart. It's not like I don't need it or anything. We can leave it there, I think. Ooh, much from the lava. I do like how these bricks sparkle with like fire, and there's a demon trying to kill me, isn't there? Or am I kidding? There's a, things are always trying to kill me here. But yes, it looks like there's nothing else here, so hope this was helpful to anyone who hasn't ever been here. Probably not going to come here now. <laughs> or unless you like a challenge and then you probably will. And there's a guilty demon. Yes, we'll probably end it here. So, I've been Darius100, and this has been Hell.